and call it baritone saxophone. And now I'm going to record some some sample music. Now let's record the saxophone. Select both parts and let's open the score editor. Let's clean up our score a little. Double click here. The staff settings window for piano opens. Our smallest note was a quarter. Now select the polyphonic tab. From the staff mode drop down menu, select split. Cubase will split the score at C3, and so now we have our treble and bass clefs. Click Apply. The piano line looks pretty good. Let's fix the saxophone line now. Double click on the staff. We see that the staff name appears. The smallest note I played was a quarter. But I, I do see here some mistakes. I see some dotted notes. Apply. Now it looks better. Now let's transpose our saxophone. From this drop down menu, I'm going to select baritone sax. You can see in the display transpose field, I see that I'm going 21 semitones up. Click apply. Now everything seems okay. Close this. If you want to insert any extra symbols, select scores, symbol palettes, dynamics. Let's add some crescendos. Right click. And right click again. Right click on the palette and choose toggle. Right click and choose a different palette. If you hold the control key down, a new palette window will open. To hide the symbols, select them and press the hide button. To unhide, check the Hides checkbox in the filter strip. Select the word Hide and press the Delete key on your keyboard. If you need a few different sets of scores, for example, one for piano and one for saxophone, and one for when both of these instruments go together, the layout function becomes very handy. To navigate between layouts, go Scores, Layouts, and choose one. You can navigate between layouts from the layout lists as well. Choose Layout. Click the Show button. You can also double click and rename the layout. OK, close this window. Select Scores, Layouts, Setup. Here you can adjust the parameters 
for the currently selected layout. Now a few words on polyphonic voicing. This segment looks a little clumsy. We can improve its appearance by turning this E into a whole note. Here we have two different instruments, but it is hard to understand what's what. So let's start by setting up the voices. Click here and click the Get Info button. The Staff Settings dialog box will open. Select the Polyphonic tab, and from the Staff Mode drop-down menu, choose Polyphonic. Here you can set up to eight different voices. Three different presets you can choose right here. Here's where you activate and deactivate the voices. Choose the channel. if you do indeed need a channel. In most cases, the channel doesn't matter. Q, this makes the notes look smaller. These three columns let you choose how rests will appear. And here, you can decide the stem direction, up or down. Click Apply. Now click on the staff, and here you see on the extended toolbar voices 1 and 2, and two empty buttons for voices 3 and 4, which are not active right now. Select the bass staff. Now you see voices 5 and 6, 7 and 8 are not active. Let's select these four quarter notes. Select Scores, Move to Voice, Move to Voice 1. And now the four quarter notes have become one whole note. Here let's select these notes, hold the Control key, and click on the Voice 2 button. Let's move these notes To voice number one. And these notes here we will move to voice number two. Another way to distribute our notes is by using the explode function underscores global functions. Choose two polyphonic voices. Split note. This will move the notes below C3, in this case, to another voice. Lines to tracks. This option separates notes in different logical musical lines into different voices. Bass to lowest voice. This does what it sounds like. It moves the lowest note to the lowest voice. To enter notes in two voices, select the voice, select the note, to merge a few tracks together, in a track with polyphonic voices, select the tracks, open the tracks in the score editor, select scores, global functions, merge all staves. Cubase will create a new track with different polyphonic voices assigned to notes from different tracks.
Now let's convert the voices to different tracks. Select Scores, Global Functions, Extract Voices. Here you see that Cubase has created four different tracks. Each track contains the notes from the different voices. And this concludes our overview of the score editor. We've really just scratched the surface of the score editor. This is a very powerful and useful tool. Um, there's obviously a lot to this in Cubase. The good news is that Cubase has a very detailed manual on this, which I know you will find very helpful. This concludes our segment on the score editor.